special friends. We're having a lesson today from Matthew 27, verses 57 through 66, and Matthew 28, verses 1 through 6. An evening approached in a rich man from the town. His name was Joseph. He had become a follower of Jesus, and he went to Pilate and asked Pilate for Jesus' body. Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth. He placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock he rolled away. He rolled away the big stone in the front of the entrance to the tomb. Then he went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there across from the tomb. The next day was the day after preparation. The chief priest and the Pharisees went to Pilate. So they said, we remembered something that we heard while he was alive. He claimed after three days he would rise again. So give the order to make the tomb secure until the third day. If you don't, his disciples might come and steal the body. Then they will tell people that Jesus was raised from the dead. The last lie will be worse than the first. Take the guards with you, Pilate answered. Go make the tomb as secure as you can. So they went and they made the tomb secure. They put a seal on the stone and they placed some guards on duty. The Sabbath day was now over. It was down on the first day of the new week. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a powerful earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven. The angel went to the tomb. He rolled back the stone and sat on it. His body shone like lightning. His clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Don't be afraid. I know that you're looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He's not here. He's risen, just as he said he would. Come and see the place where he was lying. Go quickly. Tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead. He is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb. They were afraid, but they were filled with joy. They ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They come to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. After Jesus died, a rich man named Joseph went to Pilate, and he asked if he could bury the body of Jesus. Pilate said yes. And Joseph took Jesus' body and wrapped it in linen like a blanket, and he placed Jesus' body in a tomb, which is a very small cave cut out the side of a hill. A large stone was rolled in front of the tomb to keep it closed so as no one could get in. Pilate placed guards around the tomb to protect because he did not want anybody to steal Jesus' body and say that he was alive again. Jesus was in the grave for three days. After Jesus had been in the grave for three days, Mary and Mary Magdalene, Jesus' friends, came to the tomb. But when they got there, they saw the tomb was empty. 
Jesus wasn't there, but an angel was. The angel told them, do not be afraid. They, but when they saw him, the tomb was empty. Jesus wasn't there. The angel told them, do not be afraid. The angel also said, he is not here. He is risen. I am glad Jesus is the risen King. Have a blessed Easter, and we love you, and hope to see you real soon, because we really miss you.